Hey, you got Max here. Today we got a review of Dick LeBeau, one of the two dicks that we got in the last week. 92 speed on my squad. I think with power up, Max Sprinter, Max John Madden, all that jazz, he gets to 95 speed. But he's 92 right now because I just have uh, the John Madden coach chem on the, the car right now. But let's go through the rest of the stats. 90 acceleration, 89 agility, 89 jump, play rack 97, 98 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 91 press on the card. So... Uh, well, I, with the rest of his stats, 63 block shed, 74 hit power, 74 tackling, 82 catch. Now, his tackling stats, um, a lot of people are like, oh, this is a very physical corner, a guy that can kind of play the nickel, and that's true. I have him playing on the outside, on the right side of the screen. As you'll see, he's over there. Um, his tackling stats, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, in my experience, he had his tackle broken a lot, which is something I expect more of like the uh, Deion Sanders. Right there, he got one tackle broken. Uh, we'll watch it again in slow-mo. Then then, then uh, a physical corner. People that you brag about getting the physical corner. So there he is in man coverage. Of course, that uh, tight end had kind of a head start on him because he was kind of inside the line and it was a drag. So that's that's understandable. Here's another missed tackle. So somebody that you say like, oh, this is a good nickel corner. I don't agree with you there. It doesn't show up on the field very much. And, and really like with a lack of speed. And, and, and here's the thing. If you go to Dick LeBeau and you're going against like some poor receivers, of course he's going to look very good. But a lot of people, right there, on a, he was on a cloud route against a switch route. And for some reason he got confused about what to do. That was terrible. So LeBeau played terrible for me. I just want to say that right away. He was a very, probably the most disappointing corner of the year. Of course, I'm on tackle balanced. I'm not on tackle like aggressive or anything like that. There's a nice hit stick to knock the ball out though. Um, so maybe that's an issue. He, he couldn't tackle. Because it's on balance, and maybe I should just switch to conservative. But like, even Dion, I, I think had like as good a tackle ability as this LeBeau. So I don't trust it. Tackle stack really, really did let me down, uh, which, which is you know unfortunate. So it's catching 82. And the thing is like, what can he do for you if he can't tackle? He's not a physical corner. He's not like playing man coverage very well because he's not the fastest. Obviously, if you come him up to max to 95 speed, then he's very good. Uh, you can get guys higher, you know, guys with higher speed. I mean, they're 93 cornerbacks. There's Deion Sanders, Slay, uh, so on and so forth. So you can get guys up there higher than LeBeau. Uh, at 410, he's not like like absolutely destroy the bank price, but he is kind of high when you compare him to like guys that you can get like about similar speed, you know, the... Uh, Ooh, well, he missed a lot of guys there. Uh, the uh, Rondé Barber, uh, and so on and so forth. A lot of guys towards that, that the Lattimore, and so on and so forth. Um, he is unfortunate, I'd say. I, I really wish, I really wish there was more here that like I was impressed with, but like I couldn't really find anything that I, I loved with him over there. Like here he is chasing 80 down, and like he didn't really gain a lot of yardage there on him. Uh, he's kind of he just more got ran out. Um, didn't really get off blocks well. Didn't see that running. Like he it didn't look like he was blocked. But it didn't look like he saw anything either. So, dang, 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 dang. I, I'd say, like, there's there's always a couple play players, like, the stats should show that he's better than he is, but no. It, you know, with, with so many Tyreeks on the field and guys got, like, 98 speed and stuff, and, and ty you're, every game you're facing the Chad Johnsons, the, the uh, T.Y. Hiltons, and so on. So, LeBeau, I think, will be solid for squads, but I don't think he's somebody you should really invest in and try and get. Um, which is which is too bad because I love having new legends in the game, but if they play like this, then it's almost like dang it, uh, get to somebody else. So his traits: clutch, no; high motor, yes; um, he has strips ball, yes; big hitter, yes; plays ball in air, aggressive. I don't know why. Here's play ball in air, aggressive, and he didn't even go for the ball. Uh, he just kind of like wanted to hug that guy for a touchdown. So high boy, high balls uh, defeat him too. Even at six one, at a decent height for a corner. Um, he didn't play that very well. Remember when Clint said uh, corner routes or, or corners would play corner routes well without a clear out? Yeah, that was a lie. Um, so that's unfortunate that they uh, unpatched that ability. Here's here's uh, here's the one to lose the game. LeBeau drags him for. Uh, I guess it wasn't lose. It still some time left in fourth. But yeah, overall very disappointing. Out of ten, five point five. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.